Hello ladies and gents, welcome to today's video and happy Thanksgiving for yesterday to my US viewers. If you don't follow me over on Instagram, you wouldn't have seen it, but I did wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving because it's just the kind of guy I am from me uh, and Jasper here as well. So today's video uh, is actually going to be about the crow. Now they've been threatening, and I do say this, threatening a reboot for some time, uh, mainly with Jason Momoa. Uh, it went through multiple iterations, it lost directors, it gained directors, writers lost them, etc. And now it's kind of been kicked to the curb. But what we do have to show today is some test footage and images. So there's a, like a three second clip of actual test footage, and there's some images of Jason Momoa as uh, Eric Draven. The original Crow. So, like, when we say it's a Crow reboot or remake, like, it's a straight remake of the Crow. Um, which I thought was not not something I wanted to see ever, quite frankly. Uh, especially not with Jason Momoa. So, we're going to dive into this today. Just realise the audio is peaking ever so slightly, so we'll lower that down. Uh, so, we're going to dive into this today. It's still peaking. I'm allowed. Uh, we're going to dive into this today, ladies and gents. But first, before we do, we've got, from me and Lord Jasper. Jasper. I mean, his ears moved, but he couldn't really be bothered. Uh, we've got some awesome merch. Here you go, ladies and gents. The Jasper Christmas Special. Okay, it's linked down below in the description box. Uh, you can see it here. Uh, it's in multiple things. So you, not only can you, you know, the front Mary H. Miss, uh, Jasper there by his little tree. Uh, on the rear, we have exactly the same design, uh, but without Mary H. Miss. Uh, we have it on mugs. We have it on T-shirts. Uh, all varying prices and things like that. But it's a bloody cool design, uh, and I hope you will support me. Uh, and what I'm doing here in one of my efforts to entertain you and grab an awesome design. If you want a one-off limited edition design, you can grab this. This is the Xenomorph Ugly Christmas Sweater. Yes, that's right, ladies and gents, the Xenomorph Ugly Christmas Sweater. What a kick-ass design all over. We've got Ripley there. We've got the Space Jockey Xenomorphs, the Juggernauts, Eggs, Face Huggers, Chest Bursters, you name it. It's all there. This is the last year I'll be running this design. Uh, I run various designs each year, but this one's done now. This is gone. This will be the last one. Uh, front and back, like I said, it's an all-over design. Grab it while you can, ladies and gents, because it will be no more uh, as of next year. So that's, uh, yeah, there you go, basically. not not my, It's all promotion. It's down below in the description box. Just grab it if you want. Don't have to if you don't want to. I don't want you to hear anyone bloody crying about it like... Oh no, someone's trying to make money to support himself. Oh no, I would never do that to you. You go out and work. You go out and sell stuff. All right. Anyway, so let's dive into this. <laughs> um, like straight off, straight from the off, guys. I, I don't like this. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Like it. Does it look like the crow? Yeah. Like big whoop. Like that doesn't mean it's gonna be good, does it? It doesn't mean that it could have been good. You know, let's look at Jason Momoa as an actor. Like, he's not a great actor. Does this look like Eric Draven? Yeah, of course it does. But, but like, that doesn't mean it's going to be a good thing. Or could have been a good thing, should I say, because it has thankfully died a death. Um, but, yeah, I, I just, yeah, I don't know. Um, so, the article anyway notes that some official concept art for director uh, F. Javier Gutierrez, uh, now defunct remake of The Crow, found its way online earlier this year and we now have a first look at some test shots from Corin Hardy's more recent attempt. You saw what I mean? There was just so many versions. Um, so Corin Hardy's more recent attempt had Jason Momoa uh, as Eric Draven. <sighs> and then they say this project very nearly came to fruition but stalled when both Hardy and Momoa were forced to step away due to scheduling conflicts, uh, and the studio ultimately pulled the plug. Because, like, these big projects, they, it costs a lot of money, um, otherwise, in the end. And I just, you know, it's not for, it's not for me. This, 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 this is not for me. Like, yeah, okay, put, I'll put my hands up. Does he look like Eric Draven? Yeah. Cool. That doesn't mean it, he's not a good actor. I bloody hate him as an actor. He's bad. He's just not a good actor. Um, you can see him here. And I could just imagine it. Him doing the, like, yo, bro. You're something, dude. Like, no. No, go away. Don't want it. No. Um, <clears throat> I just, you know, it isn't... I said from the off, I don't like it. Like, I'm, I'm not hiding it. It's not something that I found particularly appealing. Um, and like I say, like, at the end of the day... 
hundred percent, he looks like him. Okay, he does. You know, like especially here. You know, you 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 could mistake that uh, for Brandon Lee, right? You could, you could a hundred percent mistake that for Brandon Lee, and go, wow, there you go, what a dead ringer. But all it is is makeup and hair. And Jason Momoa as an actor, he's he's really he's. He's, I don't even think he's someone that I would say he's got better as an actor, as a performer. Uh, he plays very, very similar archetypes. Like I, I'm trying to think back to what I first saw him in. I think was he in like one of those? I swear he was in like a like a Greek myth movie or something like that. Maybe I could be wrong. Um, and then he was in Game of Thrones, and 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 he's he, knocking stuff over. Uh, and he's been in some fairly high profile things since there. But I don't think he's improved, you know. And it's not like I'm gonna I'm gonna throw out a name now, which people will probably laugh at. But Dave Bautista, right? Yeah, he plays a big dumb oaf in Marvel. But you go and look at him in Blade Runner 2049, the short film that was released before. And then you go and look at him in Blade Runner 2049. Like it does show a different side to Dave Bautista as an actor. He was able to display range. Uh, Hotel Artemis as well. He's pretty damn good in that. Um, and that's someone who has improved, or has at very least displayed improvement from archetypal sort of roles. I mean, I remember him in like Man with the Iron Fist, for God's sake. It was awful. But Jason Momoa just has not improved. I think this would have been terrible. Like, real bad. Um, and then there was someone posted the actual footage. Um, I'm trying to find it now. Um, let's have a look. Here it is. Right. Here we go. And it's not like it's fine. Like it's like, what? Like, who cares? I don't know. It's fine, I guess. Like apparently people are frothing. Are they? Don't fuck with the original. <laughs> I mean, the people overly, you know, frothing about it. Uh, of course, Robert Pattinson would make a good crow character too. It's right up his alley. No, no, I, I don't want Robert Pattinson as the crow. I don't, I don't, I don't want the crow to be remade. I think continue it, right? Like it's a universe. Again, like who cares? Do you care? I don't care. I don't know. It's not for me personally. I don't think it's that good. Um, but like I was saying, at the end of the day, ladies and gents, like, The Crow is an interesting narrative because anyone could be The Crow. You don't have to remake Eric Draven's Crow, right? You don't have to remake Brandon Lee's Crow. Because the idea of The Crow can live on in anyone. And I think that's where they've missed uh, they've missed the beat here is in, in their efforts to try and be like, oh, we must remake this. It's like you don't need to remake it. Continue it with someone else. Someone else can do this now. So, there you go. I don't know. I don't like it personally. But what do you guys think? I'm sure there'll be lots of uh, Jason Momoa stands coming in here. It's fine. Keep Jason Momoa bloody posters on the walls. I'm not taking them. It's fine. Uh, but let me know what you, you guys think down below in the comments. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Again, support the channel. All the links to the merch are down below in the description box. Thanks so much. Take care.